What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony with the Wrenched Out Garage. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time checking us out, make sure to hit subscribe down below. Share the video, give it a big thumbs up. Today we're talking about e-tracks, something you can do to your trailer. Well, really you could do it to anything. We're doing it to our trailer. Um, so if you don't know, e-tracks is a product. You can get this in pretty much powder coat or finished color, normally it's black or gray, or you can get it in galvanized. I took these off of our project trailer over there. I bought these a while ago. I got these from a trailer company here locally called Six Rob Lees. Um, anyways, I repainted them so they could be finished. They were, of course, because powder coating, especially here in Alaska, it sits outside. It starts degrading. So I just spray painted them, some Rust-Oleum, matte black, let them dry installed them on here with some of the power pro one multi-material exterior screws obviously they're good for uh this i already ran the razor on this so it's nothing shifted no nothing pulled or anything anyways what i wanted to talk about today is um I ended up getting a couple of these two foot sections and I'll probably get a couple of more, a few more so I can run them down the center. Um, and, and I also wanna run some on the sides. And the reason is this is one of many options you can use with E-Track. That's what's so appealing about it. So you just kinda, you pull the side up, oops, pull the side up, pull it back, click it in. You got your tie downs pretty much any, any and everywhere. And so, one thing I also wanted to show you is this right here. So I got these off of the internet. I'll put links to all this stuff if you're interested in uh, putting some e-track on your trailer or I don't know, in the bed of your truck or something, I don't know. But these are finishers. So as you can see here, this one, this is a Reese. You can get these in different sizes. Um, you can leave it like that, like actually I did originally here. And then I found these. And these do slide up under here and give you that finished look. Now, one thing I just realized, because I just did this a few minutes ago, is you do lose that track spot because the channel, this, if you look at that, is sitting in there like that. Obviously, this can't clip there, but it does give a, a more finished look and uh, it ensures that nothing's gonna get jammed under at least the front portion. So the rest of it's just gonna come from the top down. So that's really what it looks like. So I'm gonna install these two. Like I said, you really don't have to watch me install it. I'm just gonna screw them down. Two on the fronts, a couple in the center, two on the uh, other. But the plan is to run this one semi toward the front. I'm gonna run the second one all the way toward the rear. And what that's gonna do for me, especially like when I'm tying down the razor, so the razor, I go from the center point down. Now I'll be able to also go straight down if I want to. Um, so it's just, it's actually more options. In fact, actually I might run this toward the middle. I might run both of them toward the middle so I can actually, if I wanna go to the center of the vehicle and tie it down. Also, the thought is not just for the razor, if I go and buy any other equipment or I'm hauling some stuff to the dump or whatever, I have numerous areas to tie down. To include, I talked about it before, but there is a channel here I can tie down, but I prefer this. It's a lot faster. You don't have to screw around. Um, and it's just easy. I also got some straps and I cut them down. I bought a four pack of Reese straps that were 10 footers, cut them down to about five feet. Um, the reason I didn't buy six foot feet, the six footers, they weren't there. So I cut those down to about five feet because I don't need all of that extra for tying down the razor. Now I do have extra 15 footers here in my cabinet, um, but I just, after, after tying it down a couple of times, it just makes sense to kind of customize and make this uh, fit my needs instead of having to go through all these different hurdles every single time I need to do something. So that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to show you guys some E-Track, some options. If, you're, uh, if you have a trailer or you're buying a trailer, something to think about. It makes it fast and simple. Like I said, you figure out your points. You just open the side up, go in, you're good to go. And they do have obviously uh, D-rings, they have uh, just the flat circles. There's a lot of options for that and you can run it obviously. We've got 10 feet of track right there. 
both sides so I can run it there. And then again, I'm gonna be, I, I actually think, cause I am gonna buy extra. So I think actually what I'm gonna do is, is go down a couple of feet and run it toward the center on these first two. They ran out of them or I would have bought four. So I'll be searching for those as well. Now these end caps, they come in a 10 pack. They're like 10 bucks. I think they're worth it simply because then nothing's ever gonna get jammed up under it. Um, and it just looks nicer. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in, checking out this video. We've got a lot of other great videos, trailer stuff, the Razor, the Garage, the Silverado, the Project Car, or the Commuter, I should call it. That's gonna be its new name, the Commuter. Um, here at the Rent Style Garage, hit subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere else. We appreciate you guys watching the videos. Links to all this stuff is down below. If you're out riding or driving, we'll see you in the next video.